Dave Lewis. Dave Lewis is going to be introduced and presented by his children, Michael, Jillian, and Juliana. I believe they're all going to come up. So come on up. They're going to present Dave Lewis. Dave Lewis cross country, wrestling and track. Section four and stack cross country champion 1983. Established Norwich High School record in the 3,200 meters in 1983. Stack 1600 meters track champion 1984. Placed third in the 1984 stack and section four class B wrestling championships. Shenango track invitation all standing male performer in both 1983 and 1984. And he, is the, he was a member of the class of 1984. So without further ado, Dave Shilton. children and uh, my grandchildren, uh, I could be more 
proud uh, to uh, you know, they've been my pride and joy. But I also want to thank uh, mom and dad uh, for the support, but also teaching me a work ethic uh, to work hard and to put the time and the effort. Uh, and I wish dad could be here tonight, but uh, just look at that. Um, and then my other siblings, uh, Rich and Tony and Val. Uh, Rich uh, was uh, a couple years behind me, but pushed me along a little bit too. Couldn't get beat by your little brother, right? Didn't want that to happen. But I, I think, uh, you know, about uh, being an athlete in Norwich and uh, teachers that poured into me, I probably wasn't a great student. And probably some of the teachers were like, this kid didn't get it or what? <laughs> but there was teachers that still poured into me and uh, encouraged me. Uh, there was coaches that, that did the same. My athletic career, I think, uh, started um, in junior high. Uh, we didn't have cross country in junior high, right? So I joined the track team. And uh, you know, Mr. Hagen, who back here, was talking about uh, the track meets they have for the elementary kids, right? And so uh, I did the hurdles when I was in sixth grade, and with, you know, the Terry Brown track meet for the spread, and did pretty good, so I thought, well, I'll probably be a hurdle. Well, so I joined the seventh grade uh, track team, Mr. Funk's coaching, and uh, I said, I want to hurdle. So it was okay. So the first meet I did, third place or something, I think, and he said, uh, I think it's time to try something else. He let me do it once, and then he said, uh, how about the mile? He goes, I think that would fit you better, and so the first time I ran the mile, I won, and so I guess I became distance runner uh, that day. So thinking of that, you know, Mr. Funk, being able to willing to spend some time and, and encourage me just at the seventh grade level, right? And then eighth grade comes along and I don't know if Mr. Guy put these guys up to it or not, but these three guys come to the middle school and look, look me up and say, hey, how about next year joining the cross country team? So that's where my cross country career uh, begun was because three guys had come out of it to come and invest in me. So then um, that was Art Windsor, John Hitt, and Dan Spilsbury uh, came to the middle school to try to try to get me to go to cross country team. And then Mr. Guy, um, I think of a, that guy that always told me I could. But he also took time. He had problems at home, his wife was sick and things. But still took time to work with me. Um, I also remember um, my brother Rich and Brian Rogers, who is here tonight, uh, teammates, and many other guys who just pushed me, encouraged me, and without people like that, um, I don't know if I would have been the athlete that I was. Uh, it was also time my senior year that uh, Mr. Guy had to take some time off because of his sick wife. We did show up for a couple of weeks, though. Um, and Tom Utter uh, filled in for him gracious, graciously. Um, <clears throat> then uh, there was indoor track, and uh, that disappeared. 
my last my sophomore year, and uh, I was disappointed. I was like, what in the world am I going to do to stay in shape for track? And uh, so, uh, indoor track was fun, and we we had a lot of fun and did did pretty well, I think. And uh, Coach Krasbowski, um again, a coach that poured into me and others as well. And thinking about some of these coaches that there's just so many kids that are there to be poured into. And kids with all different levels of abilities. But yet these people took time out of their day to pour into each and every one of those individuals. Well, so junior year comes along, and what's a cross-country track guy going to do to save shape? Well, there was this guy named Mike Box that uh, come to me and said, hey, why don't you come out for wrestling? And I said, I ain't wrestled anybody except for my brother in the living room. So uh, he goes, we'll figure it out. And uh, so I think of... Uh, Mr. K, who uh, has been a, just a, a great guy and was a, a great coach and uh, accepted me on the cross-country track guy onto his wrestling team that was really, at that time, a pretty good wrestling team. And uh, I think of Mike Box and Eddie Caputo, um, two guys, they would stay after practice an hour and work with me and teach me and help me uh, to be an okay wrestler. Uh, and so I say that again um, because of people who encouraged me and built me up in my life. And then Spring track. Uh, this was always a blast. Uh, Doug Krasbowski is one of the guys that's being inducted tonight. Teammate. Uh, Hawk Edwards is here. Uh, Betsy's here. Uh, Brian Rogers are here. People that I got to have as teammates that uh, just made it a blast. You know, we had a lot of fun. And we did pretty good sometimes, too. But then again, Coach Krasbowski, and then uh, my junior, senior year, Coach Shore and uh, Wake uh, came in and just, again, two more guys that cared about us and just uh, poured into our lives. And I, I'd just like to thank, uh, you know, all of my teammates, all of my coaches that I've had over the years. And then even just classmates, people that encouraged me and just congratulated me when there was successes, and maybe even when there wasn't successes. Um, and I've talked a lot about, uh, you know, people that poured in my life, um, which I think is probably the most important thing. By successes, I think you would see in the article, and since Mr. Dye is here tonight and he was present, I thought it was probably important that I talk maybe a little about stack championships in my senior year across country. So I'm going to say today Mr. Dye might have got us there out of time uh, because we got GPSs. But back then, <laughs> almost didn't get to run that race. but. I think we were about 10 minutes to race time. No. Five minutes? They were along the line with a gun in the air. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the, the bigger part of that story was, to that point, um, as you know, Norwich Cross Country has not really ever had a lot of depth. And um, so if you weren't a division championship team, you didn't get to compete at the state championships. And so that year was the first year that changed that so that every stack team got to compete at state championships. And so if that never would have happened, and 
and since Mr. Guy did get us there in time, um, I was able to compete. Uh, and it, it was probably one of those highlights of my career that, you know, to, to show up, and if you're not a cross country person, you probably don't understand that uh, typically you would probably show up an hour or two early and you would look at the course, you would jog the course and get familiar with the course and know where the hills are and the downhills and the corners and the slippery spots and all of those things. And so stepping on the line without ever seeing the course before and not really knowing what was going to happen, um, it was one of those things that it was just, okay, got to play a little different strategy here. And so I shouldered this kid from Ithaca for three miles, and then point one, I said, it's time to go, because I could see the finish line. And so it was just uh, amazing to be able to have that success that day. Um, <clears throat> Just want to maybe start to talk about here tonight, but the thing I think that's the most important thing that Mr. K say it and, and others have is we live in a different age than I did when I competed. And our children are dealing with a lot of stuff. And so I would just encourage coaches, teachers, parents to pour into kids. Remind your kids you love them. Remind your kids they have died. Because it seems like yesterday that this all happened. This is over four years ago. So pour into kids, pour into kids. And I just want to thank everybody for this iron for coming tonight. 